Hey everyone, Amber from the Vault here. Welcome back to some more Amnesia Rebirth. Real quick before we get back into the game, guys. I just wanted to say thank you so much to the publisher who gave me a copy of this so I could play it for you guys. I am dying right now. This game is sufficiently scary. And I'm going to be honest, sometimes I need breaks. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. And uh, I've heard a lot of people saying, oh, it's not as scary as the first one. Yeah, okay. It's still scary though. And my heart rate proves it. So we're going to go ahead and jump back in and I'll see you guys back in just a sec all right i'm gonna go ahead and load back in only because the sound of that glitching pillow is driving me insane and it's making it hard for me to concentrate um it might still be there when we reload but i decided to save and exit and then reload Whew. i'm glad we get a different loading screen now though i really didn't like the one of the weird face but I did find some more matches. Um, I was just messing around with buttons, trying to figure out what to do, and I threw a vase. <laughs> it was uh, kind of fun. Broke it, and matches were in it. So now... Ah, yes, it's gone. Thank God, that noise is gone. Okay, it's this one. So, I guess... I can throw shit? Um, like that. It was fun, so I broke it, and I got some free stuff. Okay. Anything else in here? Should we throw everything? I think we should. Just if you can pick it up, we should throw it. Just because you never know. Boom! There's nothing a cosmic force loves more than some idiot showing up and just destroying all of their pottery. Okay. From here, I have no idea where to go. And we don't have a map or anything that I can find. Um... Actually, one thing I should probably do real quick. Let's just check. I, there's no map at all, right? Like, let's see. Controller mapping, uh, menu inventory, run, throw, analog lean. Oh, there's a lean. I did not know that. Toggle lantern. We're going to have a lantern at some point. Oh, that makes me happy. Um, we can crouch, open reminders tab. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I will always end up pressing the middle button. It's just who I am. So I can crouch. Oh, nice. Okay. How do I use the lean? Whee! Doesn't seem like I'm leaning. Seems like I'm just moving. Okay. The problem here is that I think... I don't think I missed the path, but I might have. Because this way is dead end, right? Oh, no, it's not. <gasps> oh, okay, this is not a dead end. I don't think I have a choice. Although I am curious what happens if I just let her get scared. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, this was a dead end, but we did get some matches out of it. Oh, I'm okay. I'm okay. I will fully admit that I am super nervous. I'm guessing we can't pull these out of there, otherwise she would have. How are they burning, though? Okay. The thing that sucks is you can only save and exit. You can't just save. Nothing. It's just a beetle. Okay. There's a note from Salim. A letter came from Hang Mitchell. He offers her work. A journey to French Sudan. I pray that she will take it. It is what she needs, what both of us need. To be away from these memories. And back into the world. Away from these memories and back into the world. Okay. 
This is terrifying. What even is this? It looks like an alien with a bone. It's got three bones on it. And then are those supposed to be like two shadowy figures? Because that's creepy. That's creepy. Also, is this based on anything? Like, is this an existing like alien lore or anything? Because I got to be honest, I don't know what it is about that face, but it seems very familiar. Like it's, I don't know, some kind of lore that already exists. Maybe? Okay, there's lights over there. Um, there's a light way down there, but... Oh, God. Yes. Don't break, don't break. Why would you let me go this far and not reward me somehow? Oh, that's just cruelty. We'll be fine, Tazzy. We'll be fine. I'm getting really low on those matches. Okay, here we go. I can do it. Ah! Oh, oh god! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? I'm struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. What is going on? <laughs> There's something. My eyes. I... What's... What's wrong with me? What is going on? I'm still moving around. What is going on? 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 Did I just die? Did I just die? Did I just die? I think I'm dying. Did I just turn into something? No, but it's not in our world, is it? What if I throw it? Okay, I don't think that's what I thought that was. I thought I saw a hanging person for a second. <laughs> and I panicked. What the hell? How am I still learning things? How am I still in a tutorial phase? I don't remember. 
Okay, R3 to bring out or put away the amulet. What does the amulet do? I have no idea what's going on right now. All I know is the amulet likes whatever's over there. I think we are an alien. everything he said, but... But it's such stupid fucking self-sacrificing bullshit. Listen, I know Selim, and I know you. I know what you're capable of. He'll make it, and you'll get back to him even if all hell stands in your way. I'm so fucking scared, Aiki. I know. So we left with Hank. And the other members of our party, party? I don't know why I said it that way, party, to go and find help, and Salim did it. We left him behind. Hush now, lullaby. Close your eyes for sleep is coming. Hush now, lullaby. There is flowers growing out of that baby's head. Which is creepy. It's creepy because either the baby is dreaming and dreaming of wonderful flowers, or that baby is dead and they're using it as a planter. Just a thought. Please don't ch kill your children and use their skulls as planters. I don't know if I have to say that, but I will. Okay. What about you? Okay. What did I play that this feels a little bit like? Judges. Someone's been here. Hello? Solace. Anyone? That's kind of what it feels like. Solace. Is there a reason to put away this compass thing, or should I just leave it out? it is. We will come back. Here's a message from Selene. I was able to meet them in the park this afternoon after talking to the factory manager at Dinar. A proud moment. Alice has learned to count to three with her blocks. She did. And she did. She showed me. There. In the park. So there are two doors here. So our daughter is Alice, and she can count to three. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. I don't think that we made a good choice. I do not know that I made a good choice.
Because there was a door up there I never got to explore. Okay. But at least there's lights here. We'll be okay. <laughs> I think. I think we'll be okay. Anything in here for me? I'd love rewards for my curiosity. Oh my god, I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm gonna cry! I am going to cry! <laughs> my god, what the hell? Okay, looks like we could squeeze through there, but we're not gonna squeeze through anything right now. We're gonna look here first. So there's another world inside of the world that we're worlding in. <laughs> That's the only way I can think to describe it. <sighs> oh. What is this? God. And look at this place. It's it can't be real. That looks like an arm? Okay, so when we were having our, like, crash earlier, we kept seeing, like, one world, and then another world, and then another world, and then... It, like, was flashing back and forth? And I think... We saw a tower with, like, a light on it, didn't we? Oh, okay. Teaching us how to throw now. Okay. Oh, we're actually gonna have to move things. I see. Oh, come on. Oh, that's too big, I guess. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. That looks like a person. I don't like this. It looks like a person holding up a rock. That looks like an alien. Look at that! Tell me that's not an alien. Is that supposed to be the sun or something? Look, it's like holding aloft a thing and it's got like a collar? Nothing progresses. Time does not change things. Light does not move across the sky, nor does it grow dimmer or brighter. And yet time must pass. My mouth is dry. I feel the pangs of hunger. Wires notes predicted instability in the flow of time around the junctions between worlds where one step might carry one between years, but might preserve the body in its current state. Or, indeed, where the body changed, but time did not pass for this... Time did not pass for the for the world around. Oh my god. Is that what happened? Is this whole world frozen in a moment after its destruction? How could I ever tell? And what would change if I knew the answer? I have given up on the attempt to find the portal. I have a notion that I could apply Wire's predictions on the weakness of the fabric between worlds if I could only map them in some form. Okay, so somebody's trying to 
make it to this world, I guess, and we just got lucky enough to be here. We got lucky enough to get a front row seat to Creepy World. starting to feel uncomfortable. She's getting the blood vessels in her eyes. Okay, this wants me to go this way? Oh, it suddenly stopped. way to go now. But that looks like a little safe place. Let's go in here. Weak points but no amulet. Shadows of the dead in the ruins, those who lived here were human or near it. So perhaps this is Zerzura, Zerzur after all, or Eden, or some other stronghold of humanity. But whatever this place was, it is shattered. These must have been the gate builders. But what horror could cause such destruction? Surely even the shadow couldn't destroy a whole world. There is no sign of a portal. Even if I were to find one, the... Orb was lost to the shadow, and I do not have another. There's something else here stirring the fog. I see bright lights as it hunts and hear its cries. I do not think it is alive. Oh, fuck. I'm assuming this auto saves, because I must explore, for I must find a way to return, but stepping into the fog is like stepping into deep water. I am lost in the sea of whispering confusion. I need something to shut them out. Are they the dead of this place, or only my own paranoia? The strategy now is to focus myself, clear my thoughts, step in, and survey as swiftly as I may, then return. It will be slow, but I fear it is my only chance. Okay, so there's some kind of hunter. Wait, what's that? Four days south of Sal Sell it. And those are boots. Oh, that's a whole body. That's a whole body. Oh, that's a whole body. Mm. Okay. I am defeated. There is no way back. There is nowhere to go. I have searched for a portal, but there is none. I have triangulated the weakest points with Levi's calculations, but I cannot tear a rift, for I do not have a traveler's amulet. I did not heed Brandenburg's warning, yet what choice did I have? The shadow sensed the orb. I had to risk it all and to step through the portal. There is no water. There is no means of sustenance. I will not live long. If you read or traveler from whatever world you come, you can comprehend it if you know enough to speak to those human, uh, to those of the human world called Earth, let them know this. I was the first to solve the mysteries of the gate builders. I was the first human to breach the boundaries between the worlds. I, Professor Thurston Aloysius Herbert of Cambridge, England, was the first. God forgive me. I don't think I anyone... You are Professor Herbert. Yeah, I don't think any of us care. I wouldn't be trapped. Not like this. There must be a way back. So we have a traveler's amulet, obviously. What really gets it clicking? Come on. Maybe this way? That's where we came from? Oh, it's clicking excited now. This looks promising. Call her the woman of the tents or the mother of us all, a local tribe related to the Tureg, the Kel Hanan, call her the Great Queen. And 
legend, she is Tin Hinan, a Berber princess who found a source of food in the desert and founded the Turek tribe. Tribe. The mount itself is named for her, and indeed her body may lie within it, in the ruins just beneath the surface. But there is more, much more, to this structure. It is clear that the deeper ruins were Roman, as we are predicted, and there we will find the Mithrium, set by Romans to protect the gateway we see. Once within, what wonders will we see? Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching me play Amnesia Rebirth. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Before we get out of here, let me say thank you so much to the publisher for giving me a copy of this so I can play it for you all. If you'd like to check out more of my stuff, go ahead and click on one of those videos on the right side of your screen. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and haven't already, go ahead and click on that picture of my big dumb face. That'll subscribe to the channel, but you can also click on the bell icon if you'd like to be notified every time I post a brand new video. You can also click on that little square there. That is for my Patreon. If you'd like to become a patron. Patrons are those people in the middle of the screen there. Those are all the Twitter handles of the current patrons for here on the channel. Please go ahead and say thank you to them over on Twitter if you do have Twitter. Tell them happy holidays. Tell them thanks. Tell them whatever you want. Just help me thank them for keeping this channel going because I would not be here if it wasn't for the amazing people who support this channel. Absolutely the backbone of the channel itself. I make the videos, but they're the ones who really keep it going. So we're going to go ahead and get out of here, everybody. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you later. Or I guess scream in your ears later. <laughs>